glad these earbuds are working because they're on the fritz and I was afraid this was going to be the time I plugged it in and it was going to finally stop working. Do you hear your earbuds? <laughs> I have a weird... I don't, I don't remember exactly what it was anymore. I was at some kind of uh, location, some kind of store or whatever that... No, you know what it was? It was like laser tag. It was yeah. laser tag. That was what it was. This was years and years and years ago and my, my thing wasn't working, right? Mm-hmm. My, you know, the pads and whatever else. And I went and talked to an employee and said, it's on, my thing's on the fritz. And they were like, what does that mean? Wait, really? Yes. There was like, there were, there were two separate people there who had no idea what that was and had never heard that before. It's weird. I don't know. It was kind of weird. Because, I mean, I've been hearing that ever since, you know, I was little. Ah, uh, whatever. Star Wars Battlefront 2 beta. Uh, by the time that you're watching this, it's too late. But you don't need PlayStation Plus to play this. That's the only reason that I'm here right now. But yeah, they, um, <clears throat> for this beta, I remember for the beta for the first game, they made it very obvious that you did not need PlayStation Plus to get into it, or right. Xbox Gold, or whatever. I didn't see that anywhere. I had, like, I actually had to download this and test it yeah, to find no, out that and you I didn't went, need it. Yeah, no, and I went on there, and it did say it was, like, cert, you know, needs plus for certain online interactions, and I figured that was probably just going to be for the normal game, but still, like, it was misleading. Yeah, but no, I'm, I'm, we're good. I don't have yep. PlayStation Plus, but I can play it. And it makes sense, because, like, this is, you know, everybody talks about these being, like, a beta, but really, this is so close to the release that oh, it's, yeah, it's this just is a, just a demo. It's a stress test. Yeah, it's a stress for test. The, for them, a it's demo. a stress test, so you want to have as many people in it as possible. Um... But anyway, so uh, we're gonna we're gonna play a little bit of the Star Wars Battlefront 2 beta here. We both played the beta for the first game. Did you did you get the first game? I, I did not. Recently? Yeah, I, did I didn't. Not. But I it, I don't know if it'll still be like this when the demo or when this video comes out. But the uh, season pass is free for the first one online right now. Well, you can also get like the like the complete edition for like the season pass. Oh, wait, so hold on, if the season pass is free and you can get the basic version of the disc for like ten bucks now. Yeah, exactly. And there's no point. Yeah, okay, that's a good point. So you don't even need to buy the gold edition. You just no. get the season pass for free. And get the, if and get it's the still like of the game. that when this is up. Yeah, if it's still like that. This beta will not be up. That deal may be gone. Who knows? You'll have to find out by looking for yourself. But yeah, I played a little bit of the full retail release because a friend of mine... Uh, hold on. Nah, I missed it. There was a bug... Oh, no, I did get it. It's right there. <laughs> Aha! There was a bug on the microphone. His lightning quick hands. I had to, I secured the microphone and then slapped it. I guess I'll have to censor that audio for you guys because it's gonna be it, that's gonna sound nasty inside of that <laughs> microphone. Anyway, no, just keep it, but turn it down just a little bit, just so it's not ear piercing. Anyway, so yeah, I played a bit of this because a friend of mine from my uh, from my dorm uh, owned it, and uh, there was like we played. I played a little bit of online, and we also there's also a split screen um, in the multiplayer. My understanding is that in the first, so like a big appeal of the original Star Wars Battlefront game, which I actually talk about in. Another research ramble that um, uh, will probably be out after this one, not even those recorded beforehand. I guess I should explain. Uh, I forgot to do that. I guess this is, it, this is obvious because this is the beta and it's not a full game yet anyway. Yeah. But uh, this is technically going to be going under our little research rambles headline, which is basically where we play a game for a couple of hours. Not a super. It's not a full LP. We're yeah, just we kind of looking at it. Talk about it yeah. a little bit. There's no notes ahead of time or whatever. We just kind of screw around a little bit, and that's. I mean, I didn't. I forgot to preface that because this is just the beta. So there's no way it can be a full playthrough. Um, <laughs> But anyway, yeah. Uh, All the trophies playthrough of the beta. <laughs> sure. But, um, yeah, I played the, apparently in the original, the, the original Battlefield, Battlefront, the old ones, uh, from like the early 2000s, uh, they're not that old, but that's the only way to distinguish between them because yeah, they have the exactly. same names. Um, there, on the consoles, there wasn't, you know, multiplayer was a lot harder to hook up back then, but they had, you know, 100 versus 100 AI, or not what, not what, that's the tickets, you know, they had AI battles, you could play full multiplayer games just with AI. Yeah. In the, in the 2015 Battlefront, apparently two staffers at DICE, after the game was out, worked together to program that in, and it was only for, like, one game mode on a couple of maps. Right. So it wasn't great, and apparently Arcade is supposed to be that, but it's not really, it's like these, it's like these specific kind of set up scenarios it, it's reminiscent but it's definitely not the same i played one of them earlier today and it's like and suppose yeah it's just it's just you kind of do these specific it's like th- setups this one are... specifically roger roger is like that wipe them out is literally just like you kill somebody and you get three seconds added to your time and try to get like 25 kills or yeah something. It's, it's just it's, it's whatever it's a weird misunderstanding of what people want i mean the only thing i can assume is that is that DICE and EA are getting money from uh, from Sony and uh, Microsoft to not include that kind of stuff, so people got to get plus or gold or whatever else. But anyway, before we go in and actually play some of this, I ha- I've only played, like, a match. You've been playing this a bit, right? I've played, yeah, I played a little bit yesterday. So okay. I'm a little more experienced, but I'm not super, you know, I'm not gotcha. good at this game yet. My brother was. Neither pl- of us are very good at this game. My brother was playing that. it for a while. That's why these crates are here. I was off, I was at a job. I was, uh, I was off filming something. But, um, uh, this is... 
this is gonna be my first time ever opening a loot box in anything. Whoa. So make your sellout jokes now. I got a daily crate. Okay, let's find out. I remember when I saw the footage of the crates and I was like, oh no, there's loot boxes. I should have known since it was all gonna be all the expansions. Yeah, are no, be free, absolutely. We'll talk about that once inspect. we get into gameplay. Improved weapon systems. Crafting parts. Tactical jammer. Are any of those do any of those mean anything to you, Joey? Yes. Okay, so this is this is the issue. Is this uh, appealing to people? People stream themselves opening loot boxes. I don't, I'm not seeing it yet. I don't know. Well, it's really this game's really not flashy when it comes to the loot boxes. Uh, that's for sure. Because this is similar to um, uh, what's what's the knockoff? Oh, it's a victory pose. What's the knockoff Overwatch? It's like Paragon. Like Paladins. Par Paladins. Paladins. Uh -huh. See, Paladins, it's not very flashy because it's just cards. But in, you know, Overwatch, it's a little disc it's and it the displays big a hologram. hologram Whoa! Thing. This game doesn't really get it quite right either because it's literally just a card and it goes down. It's like here's this thing. But here's this is an issue that I have with the game. I'm not gonna be complaining a whole lot about this because there are some major improvements from this beta than there was in the first game's beta, just from what I've played so far. But the issue with it being, you know, free all the free LC, so much free DLC, guys. Don't worry, there's gonna be so much content. Is that of course they're gonna go with a loot box system. Now with Overwatch, loot boxes are obviously just completely purely cosmetic. And they're neat and it's appealing, but it's just cosmetic. It's not gonna help you out in the game at all. This game it's not that's not the case. Each one of these that you've gotten is an augment to your character that makes them better for the most part, or changes their abilities. Either making them better or just completely different. Like, you know, increased torpedo damage and stuff like that, but then there's like changes your ability from shooting a machine gun to shooting, you know, like explosive shots, stuff like that. And there's gonna be a lot more when that game comes out, or when this <laughs> game comes out, and I'm afraid it's not gonna be necessarily pay to win, but there's definitely gonna be luck involved because there's different tiers of them you can get. Like, you can get, like, increases it by 5%, but there's a very better version that's 10%, and I don't like that. Well, you gotta make money. These you games do. gotta make money, especially if, especially if they actually plan to give this game good support post. Right. I mean, they've gotta keep paying people. And that's the thing, is I would I would rather it stay like this than be the first game. That's yeah. for sure. Because the first game, for those who are not aware, launched with uh, four maps. I guess, t for a purely technical standpoint, eight maps but four locations. And um, uh, in addition to that, uh, you had to pay 50 bucks for the season pass, which added, like, what, another four maps? Something like that. There was a okay, I forgot. Technically, there was a free map. The the um, uh, the Jakku stuff after Force Awakens came out was free. So, my bad. There were five maps in the game if you waited three months after launch. Don't forget the, uh, don't forget the maps that you could also get that were already out day one with the season pass that you couldn't play otherwise. Oh yeah, and you got a gun out of that. So, is it better? Yeah, maybe. I think I think that was already there. Was I don't it? Know. Oh, okay. I have no idea. I don't know. From what I've seen, like every class has two guns. It's got the first gun, and then the Whoa. second gun is it's different, but you can mod it. Oh, look I mean, at all the civilians. Can I shoot them? I tried. I don't think you can kill them. You know what? You know what? These games, this game and the previous one, are really screaming out for what? a machinima mode. Probably. That was my first thought. Was like if they if they put a machinima mode in the uh, in the first game, I would have bought it like with that with no questions asked. Because think about how hey. like, think about how big the scene for like Star Wars fan filmmaking is. And if you could and if you could make it in a setting like this with a bunch of people running around acting stuff out, like people people are doing that in Arma right now because right. there's so many mods in Arma to put Star Wars crap into it. And so there's a bunch of people trying to make stuff. Uh, that way. I'm sure there will be some, like, it, may, it won't be a machinima mode, but I'm sure there's gonna be a mode where you can do stuff. Like I didn't see anybody do that in the first game, though. So. Right, but this is also, this game is really changing a lot of things that people have complaints about. Yeah, I I'm really sure hope do. that they add something like that in. It would be, it would be very neat. If they, like, if we see that even in, even in, you know what, even in a Battlefront 3. EA, I don't think, I don't think I ever heard anybody else talking about this, because, like, honestly, the only game that's ever had really big success with that was Halo. Yeah. Like, I remember Uncharted 2 had a really, like, honest to God, incredibly robust movie making mode but it never got a lot of traction so they when they when it came when it, uh three rolled around even though they still had the movie making features in there it was much less robust um 
Which, I mean, I get it, you know, you're not don't, not gonna spend time building stuff that nobody uses, but I feel like, for like, you know, Halo got a bunch of traction because Red versus Blue, and then people expected that. Exactly. When it was in 3, it was, you know, groundbreaking, and everybody figured out how to use it. I feel like if you threw something like that into a Star Wars game, there's such a, like, a built-in, pre-existing scene for Star Wars fan films that that would do really well for itself. Yeah, I mean, all you'd really have to do is, like, in a private match, just change things up, like, a little bit and make it a little more accessible for that and just And just build and just build in the freeform uh, camera stuff. Yeah, I was about to ask if this game has that, but I it guess... It doesn't. That's, so that's, that's, that's the thing. It's really all you need to do to make Machinima is have that. Like, I saw people make stuff in Modern Warfare 2 and the other Call of Duties. They don't, you know, those never had a cinema mode. But if you just had somebody spectating and just crop the cam, or if you put it in PC, obviously, obviously yeah, in yeah, PC, yeah, you can yeah do it's hard to say. In PC, you can do anything. Um, but uh, I mean, even then, it's like do you, you might have to, you know, do some hacking to get stuff to work perfectly. Available. Okay, and this, I keep forgetting you have to hit a button to respawn. Yeah, this brings up one of uh, the things that I felt that they really, really improved in this game. As for anybody that played the first one, you will remember there was, you know, they advertised, oh, you can play as all these heroes, you can get in these vehicles and stuff in a match. It was awful. It was terrible. It was a token it was system all, on it the was map. All, it was all power-ups randomly scattered around the map. Well, you say randomly, but well, it the, wasn't The idea randomly. was random, but... The idea it, was random, but people would just camp it every time. In actuality, the guys who wanted to do all the cool stuff would just camp out on the, um, uh, on the positions where the power-ups spawned in. They just sit there the whole match. It's like they, it's like in Battlefield. Honestly, like I love Battlefield, but every game that you play, you'll always see somebody that's just dead and sitting in respawn, waiting to spawn in in a vehicle. But it, it was the same thing. People would just sit there and wait. This game, though, doing getting kills, damaging people, getting on the objective, and various other things, it nets you battle points, which you can spend towards bonuses and whatnot. Which is typically always a better. I don't know. Like if you're if you're going for a really arcadey experience. Having, you know, just pick, you know, power-ups scattered around the map can work, but, uh, the first game was not going for a super arcade experience. Yeah, and it, the thing is, can work is different than working, obviously, because it sure as hell didn't work in the first one. When you have loadouts and you're picking what weapons you're going in with, that's, like, as far as I'm concerned, like, automatically not an arcade setup. Okay, let's just not do that. <laughs> nah, be a team player, come on. No, I mean I, want, no, I mean, I want to kill it, but I was out of range, you know, I, advancing I know. alongside the street is not just, getting me there. <laughs> I'm just thinking about me earlier, just try, just sitting okay. there dying, hey. trying to get it. Ha! hey -o. I am pinned down right here. I need to be somewhere else. I need to be yep. somewhere other than here. You can always use your shield, too. That's true. If I survive one on this corner, which I did. Still out of range. Gotta be pretty close to this thing, I guess. Oh, maybe not, yeah, not anymore. Yeah, you're good now. You have to hold. Crud. I hit. I hit. I hit. Um. I hit down on the D-pad instead. Right. Which, as I understand, this is pointless to do in the beta anyway. Am I right? This? No, not at all. This. Uh. Okay. You see the top, the number. Yeah. Basically, that's the tickets they're gonna have when they get to the next spot. And the more damage you do to it, the less tickets they'll have when they get to phase two. I see. So if you get it down to zero, then they're only going. It, it gives them 30 t more tickets automatically, and so they'll just have 30 lives. And at that point, they've already lost. Okay. See, I saw um, somewhere that basically it had been balanced such that in the beta you can't actually destroy their tank no. to ensure that the match always gets into the palace. See, I can I can confirm that because earlier today I did exactly. Oh. I did exactly that earlier today. Maybe somewhere else. I got else. down to zero, and I was just wondering. I was like, is it glitch? Why is it not blowing up? And then I looked it up, and people were saying that you couldn't. Oh, crud. You, I forgot. You have to let it recharge after you turn it off. I was going to just move forward a little bit and then turn it back on, but that's not an option. Nope. I mean, that's Wish fine. Nah, that's nope. fine. That, that's good balance, because, I mean, like, if you could just turn it on and off however the heck much you want, you could really choose that. You could, yeah, but, think, but I was figuring it would be in a system, like, if it took damage, it takes longer to recharge or whatever. Yeah. Also, melee attacks are not one-hit kills in this game. It's, like, I saw, it's yeah, a two or three hit. But I saw, okay, so the animation is way slowed down. Um, the video's probably been taken down by now because it was uploaded from a closed beta where they weren't people supposed to be recording footage. Yeah. But I, I downloaded it before it was taken, or it was gotten rid of. So if I can find it again, I'll put it here. Somebody put up footage of just the busted, broken melee in this game where essentially they were, um, the... Oh, you can shoot it. The animation was way faster before. Here we go. 
then essentially they were just they were just getting up in people's faces and meleeing them to death. Is that it? Or did they just run up to them? Yeah. Um, I guess I guess it, the, the animation that I'm seeing right now is drastically slowed down from what I was seeing in that footage. So um, uh, I think that they I think they changed that. Right. Yeah. And even if it was faster, I don't see how it'd be like. It, it wouldn't really break the gameplay because you have to run up, right up on them. Oh, what I saw of that footage was um it was pretty damaging. It was you could just kind of get right up in people's face and melee them, and it really wasn't really wasn't that much of a challenge. I mean, I guess so, but you're not particularly fast in this game. If you're a solid and you put your shotgun out, you can go faster, but that's about it. Shotguns? I don't think anyone used projectile weapons anymore. Maybe they maybe they were faster in um uh, in the, that close bait. I have no idea. The one thing I'm noticing a lot playing this right now is that all of the footage uh, that I have been seeing of this game was basically all from the PC version. So it looks like we're I'm looking at like last gen version of this game in terms of bloom and particle <laughs> effects and all kinds of other stuff. I mean, don't get me wrong, it still looks good. Those leaves blowing around look very nice, but I just um what was the battlefield? I've never played a lot of battlefield. I'm, it's never been my thing. I don't you can think get I got a hero now, by the way. Like you can get anybody. Ooh, okay, you want. cool. I'll do that in a minute then. Um, I've never played a lot of the Battlefield uh, series. However, um, what was the game where they really like? I remember in the marketing they pushed heavily. Like there was like this whole skyscraper that you could knock that down. Was, was Battlefield that four? four? Okay. That was they. Oh, what was it? Was a really stupid name. Uh, Levolution is what that was called. Level Evolution. Fantastic. Oh man, what a dumb name. So, um, out of range. It's gonna be in range soon. I hope. Maybe not. Okay, now I can get it. Uh oh. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'll live. I'll live. See? I lived. I told you. See, despite that being, you know, explosive, you basically have to get a direct impact if you want to kill somebody. Yeah. It's kind of busted. The, um, uh, with what? Uh, well, like, you know, uh, maybe not busted in a bad way. No, I well, what, what, do you, what do you have to hit with the, do you mean the, um, uh, if the you're, iron launcher? Yeah, no, if you're in the, I'm talking about him. Like, oh, If you're okay. in that vehicle, even though the shots are explosive, you have to basically get There's a direct There's very impact. little splash damage. Understood. Yeah. I'll keep that in mind if I'm ever playing this then. I'm probably not. I'm not going to have much time to play this this weekend. This right here with you is probably all the time that I'm going to have to play this, if I'm being honest. Um, but anyway, uh, the I remember that that was, like I think, the last one of those games that also released on, uh, on previous gen stuff. And so I didn't have a PS4 at the time. Uh, and also didn't Get have him. PlayStation Get Plus. Him. Also didn't have PlayStation Plus yeah. anyway. I didn't have PlayStation Plus anyway, but I got the I got the beta for Battlefield 4 on PS3, mm -hmm. and I just remember like how embarrassing the skyscraper falling over looked compared to all the footage, <laughs> the, all the sizzle that they were showing off and whatnot. You can be a hero. Yeah, you're right. Let's see. Um, I don't know. I like if I'm gonna be one of these guys, I'm gonna wait until until we're inside the palace to really like do uh, some fair. to do some damage. This is only 400. It is, but once but it's it also gets worthless, right? Once it gets to the palace, like you can't do anything else in it. I'll just hold on, and then I'll and then I'll be able to just repeatedly spawn as Ray and destroy everybody. I say that I have never played as any of those characters, so I will probably uh, not do very well. They have a lot of health though, so who knows? Yeah, but they don't regen health, do they? Or yeah, no, they do. They regen do in health. this game. I don't but think they, they did they, in the last game. They didn't in the last game, but they had way more health in the last game. That's right. I, I was reading. Yeah. I was reading a little bit about this, briefly, ever so briefly. Okay. Woohoo! Like I said, not a lot of damage, despite what it looks like. I can see that. Oh, so you have to keep it in the frame to use this thing. Yep. Okay, I was thinking maybe Ooh. you could charge it up and then peek out around a corner, but... Uh, Still, y'all have y'all gotten them really low. Is this, so that up there with the target and the one, is that just how close they are to the objective? No, that is, that's the ticket system. So, so you've sorry, gotten they, it have down. we won? Uh, when we when we load into the castle, they're just gonna have no respawns. They're gonna have thirty. They're gonna have thirty respawns. Okay, or no, not. One. Wait a minute. Maybe they changed it. Maybe okay, they changed maybe it. Maybe we're filthy liars on camera right now. I could have sworn that they said you could not destroy the tank during the main. Uh, and I main got section. it. I got it to zero percent. Or this was my experience. I got. I shot it with the ion blast and got it to zero percent. It, it was at one, and I shot it with the ion blast, and it got down to zero and immediately got shielded back up again. Like, because hmm. I'd shot it with the thing, I shot it with a few shots, and normally it's down for like 10 seconds. It was up for maybe two seconds and instantly shielded back up. So I just, I just assumed, I don't know, maybe it's just a lot harder than this. Maybe they had to, maybe it hit zero and you have to do it again. 
Hmm. I don't know. Well, whatever. Good job. That's the first time I've seen it one like that. Maybe maybe they just changed it today. Who knows? They might because I mean like the it went open what yesterday? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yesterday. Because it was closed ah, for two days, right? Yesterday. I think it was. I think it's been closed since like Tuesday. Yeah. I have no idea. I don't know. I I'm I have not been keeping up with it incredibly closely. I mean, I I think you know I keep up with everything. You know, in a broad sense, but I haven't right. been watching like the specifics of this game because I'm basically waiting until the reviews come out. I thought I just left the match. Mm. I hit, I hit quit match. Uh, I guess I'm playing this again. I guess you are. Let's On the same team, nonetheless. Okay. Scene wielded by the Naboo security forces. That Ooh, thing, lore. I got that earlier. It's like it shoots really fast. Okay. I don't know if it's good or not, but it shoots fast. Well, give this a shot then. Why not? I still have the other gun in my model there, though. That's poor, uh... <laughs> no, that's poor attention to detail. No, it's a beta. Oh, so a lot of, like, so people... I know some people who are complaining about, like, certain uh, lore things in this game, like, oh, having Rey and Han Solo running around in the wrong time periods is really, like, distracting and game-breaking. That's not the kind of thing that I care about. You know what bothers me way more? It's what we're looking at right now. The, the variety of colors of shots. Because in Star Wars, it's typically, like, one army has, like, the clones have blue shots. The droids have green shots or red shots or whatever they have. I honestly don't even remember what the droids have because I don't care. But, like, like having a night, like, the idea of having this clean volley of one color flying into a volley of the other color is so cool. And then what we were just looking at a second ago, there were, like, 16 different colors on screen <laughs> at once. I was firing a green gun. Everybody around me was firing red. There was, like, a, one or two blue shots. That's really not. That's like that's that's as far as I'm concerned, that breaks the aesthetic way more than like the idea of having Ray running around in the wrong time period or whatever. Like that's because like we're playing a stupid, goofy yeah, multiplayer exactly. game anyway. It's like time like it, like if you wanted clones to fight stormtroopers, I would be down with that. That'd be cool, I think. But um, uh, but putting putting the laser colors not matching. You make them whatever you want. Like I don't care. Like the clones have got to be blue. Like I don't care. Make one army have the same color. <laughs> Do do like Overwatch does and have it where like you know the your team all your stuff is always blue and their stuff is always red. Have your team shots always blue and have theirs always red. You know, just something like that. It's I mean it really doesn't. It's really not that big of a deal. I don't I don't care that much one way or the other. But it's like I heard people complaining about like the heroes and whatever, and that doesn't bother me. But the bullets bother me yeah. way more. <laughs> this is a close range gun. I can see that. I'm now. learning that now. But I can do this now, so that's good. Except it's not gonna help me anyway, so it doesn't matter. This is yeah, this isn't this is an Uzi. I do not need to be using this out here. This is this is for once we get stuck in the palace. Yeah. This is not the gun to be using. Outside. Unless you guys just I keep forgetting I need again. to hit skip. I'll, I honestly I was doing well as the sniper earlier. I like I like playing as the sniper in this game. It's the exact keeping opposite it, of me, because I cannot snipe in any game. Keeping it pretty accurate from the hip, uh, it makes it pretty fun. Um, right. Cause uh, I like like um, when you've got to look through a scope all the time, that does like limit your range of usability. And uh, like this is my part of like in call, like why I've started to stop playing Call of Duty in a lot. And for I stopped playing Call of Duty for many reasons. But one was that uh, sniping became pointless because everybody moves so fast that unless you're quick scoping with a sniper, those guns are just totally ineffective. Plus the maps became so small that it was, exactly. it was pointless too. Like Modern Warfare 2 was the last map that had. It was the last game that had maps at a scale where there was any point in there, engaging. There was only like three of them. There was Wasteland, and there was like the, the ice train area, and there yeah. was like one other. There were there were a couple where you could snipe effectively. But those were the only, those were the only long range yeah. maps. Here, though. there's big enough maps that it's relevant, and also since you can fire from the hip and be fairly accurate, like there's actually cause to use this gun as opposed to using, you know, as opposed to, because, like, you know, again, in Call of Duty, it's like, well, if you put an ACOG on an assault rifle, what, why not, why not, yeah. why use a sniper <laughs> rifle? I keep forgetting I don't have a secondary. I try to switch to a secondary, and there's nothing there. No, you kind of you have a secondary. I guess you're right. I'll use this. I, I got, I used it a second ago and didn't do very well with it. Bam. There you go. Now you did well. I didn't. I wouldn't say I did well. I oh, you I got won, a kill. You won an engagement. That's all that matters. <laughs> no. I guess, well, that's one thing that a lot of people don't like about these kinds of games is the sense that it's just, like, kind of a headless chicken simulator. You know, you die, you run out, you get a kill, you die, you run around again. Yeah, well, if you want to, like, if you want to be more, you know, strategic, do the uh, do the game mode where it's only, I think it's 8v8. Yeah. 
It's that's a little bit more like because I mean, anytime you do in a game mode where there's a lot of people in it, then it's gonna feel like that. Well, I just I just mean like generally speaking in a lot of these multiplayer games because it's so much designed around running around with a submachine gun and getting kills quickly. Right. It's it's kind of it's more just like kind of the general structure of the game, like a Counter Strike where once you die, you're done for that match. Like you don't you don't like when like when you die in this game, it's like oh well that affected my KD and nothing else and let's move on. Yeah, you know I think what I mean? that's why Rainbow Six Siege is still so popular right yeah. now. Remember when everybody thought that game was going to be a total bust and everybody gave like fives? I really, I, I didn't know. I played the, the beta of it and I thought it was really good. I just didn't think it was going to do well. But here I am playing the newest season with some of the new characters and whatnot. I don't have it because again I don't have plus. But um, uh, I as soon as I get plus, that's on my list of things that I really want to play because I think I would quite enjoy it. And, and for any I'm of you, well. anybody listening that plays Siege, I recently got five kills with a one fuse charge. <laughs> Biggest accomplishment of my life. It was, I saw it. It was pretty good. Oh, baby. Oh, oh, oh! I don't know, I'm about to check. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I keep forgetting to hit skip whenever I die. <laughs> hey, this you is can, not great. You can use a ship if you want to. Whoa. I don't really, I'll use this. All right. That's not too many points. I haven't used a ship on this map, honestly. I played the space battle, but mm -hmm. I don't know. This thing, I th uh, you don't actually get to fly it. It's just, it's just Wait, a you turret. Not, this no, one you don't? it's 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 just chopper gunner. That's that's not what the other ones. It's are, I yeah, I know. That's this looking particular real gun. good, guys. And this is not. Ooh. Holy crap! Um, hello, hi. It may be a chopper gunner, but this is. It's a chop. It's a choppy, choppy footage. Gunner. Yeah. Oh, hey. We're funny. We got comedy, folks. This looks. <laughs> this is real bad. This is the power of PS4, everyone. Oh my gosh. This is not doing well right now, is it's it? It's because you don't have a pro. Oh, yeah, I gotta have PS Pro, I forgot. Yeah. It's because we're not on the, the X-Bone X right now. Oh my gosh, this is going really poorly. The X-Bone X isn't out yet, is it? I don't think so. I don't think it's out. Oh, it's down again. Well, I think I can at least... Yeah. At least I can get shots on it with this thing. I don't know how much damage it takes to kill somebody with this thing, but like... What are your other abilities? There's no splash, and it doesn't highlight people. This thing, yeah, this, gun, this is awful. Uh, this is a repair, I think? Yeah, what is the... Heat, heat sink? sink? All right! Well, we'll find out another day, I suppose. Good stuff. Like, I'm thinking Chopper Gunner, you know, in like, in... I, I, in, uh, you know, well, I guess anything after um, uh, Modern Warfare 2, I really don't know. The only game that I watched multiplayer, like, I watched a lot of Black Ops because I was morbidly curious at the time when it came out, and then after that I just kind of didn't care about Call of Duty. Black Ops was fun enough, but MW But I just remember, like, with what I was going to say is, like, with the chopper gunner and that highlighted right. where people were. Also was useless because the spawns in Black Ops were so bad that if you got a chopper gunner, you just kept shooting people where they spawned. It was, honestly, it was the same in MW2. In MW2, I feel like the spawns were usually scattered enough. Like I, like, I saw footage of Black Ops where it was literally just keeping the cursor trained on one point on the map and people dying repeatedly over and over again. <laughs> oh, I'm not, this... I'm not, I am not in any way going to claim the spawns in Modern Warfare 2 were good, but I am going to claim that they didn't always spawn you in the exact same place. You know, it's funny because I'm about to eat my own words. Uh, I actually remember playing Black Ops with my friend one time, and it's funny. Okay, th this good. doesn't mean anything now to anybody, but there was some, some members of all... Okay. There's a few members of Optic on the other team. Um, yeah. Which back in the day was, oh boy, that, those are the Call of Duty gamer men. MLG. But they were on the other team and. How do I look through my, these things? R1. No, I'm hitting the button to look through them and they're L, not. L2? Oh, L2. Yeah, there we go. Was, oh, hmm. I don't think that's supposed to look that way. Okay, there we go. Now it's working. Good stuff. Now it's gone. Uh, He's also looking through binoculars. <laughs> But anyway, we're both, play, we're both playing the real they game. They were on the other team, and my friend and I, like, my friend was like, all right, okay, he, he was really good at Call of Duty at the time, too. He was like, okay, now just listen to me, okay? I want you to go here and just stay there. And I was like, okay, you know, whatever. Because I was playing with him and his friends, and they were all, they all played a bunch of, prof not professional, but game battles, if anybody knows what that is. But they were used to... Never heard of it, but I believe you. It was basically, it's, it's poor man's MLG kind okay, of thing. Okay, gotcha. Um... I sat there and we actually glitched it up where they were constantly spawning in front of us and I could just knife. Like yeah. I would, somebody would spawn in front of me and I'd just knife them. 
Yeah, and there it was, were, just, there was funny there, because we were going up against you know, professionals and doing that. Because there were fla there were like flags on the maps that you could trigger to make people spawn in certain positions, and mm -hmm. I guess you were just manipulating that. Yeah, we were in we were in one of the more obscure game modes for it, so I'm sure that was one of the ones where they didn't, really didn't test out the spawns and whatnot. Uh, hey, somebody else is in the air now. I see that. Maybe they're gonna do better than I did. Or maybe their their camera's gonna be just as choppy as mine. <clears throat> What are these things? These these would not make good barricades. They would just get knocked over immediately if an explosion went off. They're just sitting on. They're just they're just individual but boxes the, sitting on top of each other. I mean, this is a last minute kind of thing, you know. I suppose you're right. Like it, it would block a blaster shot. I mean, I don't know how many troops do we have set up here. If we were expecting an assault, do you think we would prepare better? I guess. I don't know. Who cares? I don't know how I feel about the voices in this game. I think I actually mentioned this in my other Battlefront videos, and people are gonna who bother to watch both are gonna hear this twice. But um, uh, do we just do we all do that at the exact same time? <laughs> We all use our, bu our buff at the exact same time. But uh, I I don't mind them using the the Clone Wars TV show voice for the clones because like that's that it still sounds fine. It sounds close enough to how it sounded in the movies and like I don't care about the continuity so much as I do just about how it sounds. And the guy who voices the clones in the TV show is good. Um, I really don't like that they use the stupid cartoony droid voices. I don't like the droid voice voices in this either. Like, if you look at the movies and also at the Gendy Tartakovsky 2D animated show, they have, like, more deep, evil, low voices. They're more, they're slightly, they're slightly easier to take seriously. And on the radio, I guess we haven't gotten to play as them yet. Victory again? How? What? What's uh, happening? We're never going to huh. see inside of the palace now. Uh. Anyway, like, when you're playing as them, like, over the radio, there's a much deeper voice to Yeah, that's, that's, I think that's also, a, that's like a commander droid, and that's also new to the CG TV show, because right. I'd never seen him before that, but then again, I'm not super plugged into the expanded universe of this series. But yeah, you were saying? Was I saying? Yeah, you were saying something. Huh. Uh, you were saying something. You were, I think you were just going to comment about the droid's voices not being great. Yeah. Don't like them. They're not, not good. It's like, they were made that way because they were just, they became, I mean, they were... I'm not ever. I'm not gonna say that they were good in the movies either, because like while I like them from a design standpoint, they're useless as grunt characters. Because like they're even more so than stormtroopers. They just exist to be cut through. Whoa, you got a loot box. Oh, I did. Oh, oh man, I can't shoot. wait to open it. What's gonna be in it? An officer loot crate. Oh man. Oh, did you get? Is that a good one? Is that one in the middle? Is that a good one? Does it? Are, oh, does the colors I, indicate does things? Does it? I don't know. I got brass knuckles. Uh. I assume those click, are brass knuckles. I don't know what they click are. Click it. I don't know what that is. Disruptor. Modified diffusion device, which creates a burst of ionized energy. Okay, that's all uses. Overheats enemy weapons, diffuses explosives, and temporarily disables turrets. So it's an EMP. Overheating people's weapons is fantastic. <laughs> you can equip it. Yeah, I am going to equip that, actually. That probably removes your flash grenade, but the flash grenade's not that good either. Oh, hold on. I'll, I'll block that out. Nobody needs to see with it, uh, who that is. How do I put it? Hello? Hi? Yeah, press... Oh, I was go. up on my cur... I was up on a picture of myself. That's uh -huh. why. I was confused. Sweet, I did it. What? Oh, wait. Which one did that take away? Oh, it took away... It took away your turret. Well, whatever. Maybe maybe it's something you put on the ground, then. Maybe, yeah. Maybe it's a position... Maybe it's a thing you put down on the ground. Well, whatever. Let's... Okay, hold on. I got things in my collection. What yeah, that's because you didn't equip a lot of oh, stuff okay. you got earlier. Oh, okay. Got it. Okay, let's see. Replace the scan dart. What is it? Regenerate your health while this ability is active. The scan dart's kind of neat, and I'm not using the trooper anyway, so who cares? Equipped and craft weapons? Yeah. Yeah, see, th it's a lot of... I'm reading a lot of things and thinking to myself, that doesn't sound super good, but all right. Um, like, I hmm. haven't gotten a mod for any weapon yet, but... Seems that, oh, I could craft something. Do I have? I only have forty crafting pieces. Yeah. See, there's like there's like the currency you get for matches to get boxes, I think, and then there's the like the crafting parts currency that you get out of the boxes, <clears throat> and I assume the thing in the middle is pay to win currency. Manually detonated explosive. Okay. Instead of impact, yeah. If that, would that replace my grenade? It, yeah, it does. I have that. Okay, cool. I mean, C4 it is sticks nice. on walls and stuff. So. C4 it's is nice. I like C4. C4. It's a burst pistol. Rate of fire. Oh, it's a, oh, it's a burst pistol. Yeah, yeah. A two burst. I see that. With only slightly. Okay, sure. Why not? I'll do that. That's nice. It's fine. I don't I have any. Mo I can't craft mods yet. There may be absolutely nothing to do in here. I'm just looking around. Right. Let's see. Well, you're showing you're showing all this off, which. Oh, wait, hold on. Does this have an even higher rate of fire for only slightly less damage and better cooling? 
hell yeah. <laughs> Why would I ever <laughs> use the other one? So apparently this flame trooper guy is useless. I've seen yeah, footage of him have, and he does nothing. I have not been able to do anything with him. I've tried and oh boy, can I not do it? What's up with the left and right? I was about to arrows? ask. Can you? Is that maybe that's cosmetic? I can't. I can't do anything about it. I, oh wait, hold on, hold on. Oh no, I'm just flipping, oh, I'm flipping okay. between classes. Okay. That's okay. Cool. But there was oh, one no, here. Oh no, that was no. There's go, not one for here. I know what that is. Go back. That's showing you. That's the. That's the oh the aerial version. troop. Got it. So that's the stormtrooper version. The other one's the. Yeah, Joy yeah, Burden. I got it. Okay, makes sense. Where's my... Aren't there special classes for, like, the... For Because, like, isn't there, like, a Wookiee thing? Where's the Wookiee guy? Uh, Wookiee guy... I guess he can't be customized. Wookiee guy would be... Yeah, I guess he can't He's be customized. He's not here. I mean, I don't care one way or the other. I'm just, just looking around. Oh, wait, hold on. Nope. Bad. Uh -oh. My bad. I didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. No, no, don't Click point game. Right. Quick. Oh. Yeah. It was R3? Yeah. Sure, yeah. why not? Cancel is a different in every game now, and I really don't like it. Oh. Yeah, there's if this is yeah. her. This is her. Uh, her last Jedi costume. Well, who cosmetics? Can I change these guys' outfits? Only her outfit to promote Last Jedi. Wonderful. Can I change him to look like uh, Jango Fett? Nope. Only her to promote Last Jedi. I'm sure. I'm sure there's gonna be more stuff when they actually. Oh, absolutely. Them. But like the fact that she's the only one means <laughs> that it's there to promote Last Jedi. <laughs> um. I can't change any of the appearance on these guys yet. That's, nope. I, I, the one th okay, this is another thing that, that, another, like, only lore thing that would ever bother me in the world, um, is that I saw one of the, tra I think it was the trailer for the Starfighter mode, which I guess we might as well give a shot, because I haven't tried any of this yet. Oh, in boy. the trailer for the Starfighter mode, um, there was a scene from the Clone Wars era, and I heard a lady voice shouting, they're right behind us, or whatever. There's no ladies in the clone army. And it's not, I, and, that just clicked. And not, and that I'm just not, clicked with me. And I'm not trying to do like a World War II thing, like the Call of Duty World War II, where it's like, don't like all. Don't, just, don't put my ladies. favorite. My favorite thing about that is that those the people who are all like, don't put ladies in my modern war, like my uh, World War II multiplayer, are the same guys who are going, yes, zombies. Oh yeah. It's like what are you? Zombies. You realize what you're doing, right? Like if you're care about historical inaccuracy, you're. But in the, but in this case, it's literally it's the clone army. Yeah, it's like it's it's droids. It's the droids, like you know, lady stormtroopers, whatever, lady rebels, whatever. It's like they're all clones of Jango Fett. It's kind of how it's <laughs> that's how it is. Again, I, I don't care from a lore standpoint. I care from an aesthetic standpoint. I guess it's really like I don't. It doesn't bug me one way or the other. My hope is you can take the helmets off the clones. If yeah. Because I know you could do that when you got to really high level in uh, Battlefront original, and then people complained and said get rid of that because it's messing up my lore. Because stormtroopers shouldn't be able to take their helmets off. I want to roleplay as a guy who's out on the battlefield and he got hit by a by an explosion and his helmet flew off. And now he's getting up to continue the fight. That's why his helmet's off, not because he took it off for funsies. Alright. Look, I have very specific tastes in video games, okay? Can I start now? I was waiting yeah. forever. Okay, everybody's in A-Wing. Is it good? I, I think it's faster. It is the oh, okay. best. Okay, okay, right. oh, this is twin stick setup. Okay, yeah, got it. It's the only one that has, your L1 will uh, make you go faster, so. L1 will make me go even faster! Whoa, afterburner. Yeah, I don't like, I don't like any of the rebel ships, but I like the bomber for the, uh, Okay, alright. This is gonna take me a little while to get used to. Because I remember I played, again, like, I played enough of the beta to remember how the, the flight controls were in that game, and they were not great, but I no. knew what they were. So I did, I was, Oh, no! Okay. Yeah! Defeated. Did we just lose? No. It's, it's weird, I know. It, it says that in this game. Why does it say defeated when I die? <laughs> Alright, whatever. Let's try that again. Let's get back out there. No, I think the A-Wing is... I think I think kind of the idea is that the the X-wing is like kind of the kind of the general purpose all around functional ship. Yeah. The A-wing is built for ship to ship combat, fighting other Tie fighters, and then the bombers are for you know shooting heavy targets like the the, the, the See, ships. See, you would think that the, the heavy ships. that's how it is in the war, but that's not how it is in this game. Really. Well, supposedly it's also designed to be that way, but I guess I guess it's not. Oh no. Uh. Okay, hold on. I maybe. gotta get used to this. I can't. I'm not an expert at this, but from my interpretation, it's kind of the opposite because yeah. okay, the oh Y wing is the other one that you're not in right now. That's correct. correct. Okay. I know y you're not a big Star Wars. I'm not dude. a Star Wars. Oh no! Dude. But the Y wing, whenever I'm going for like objective destruction, I like to pick it because it has 
Like it has standard missiles. That's of what course. I'm saying. Y wings but... for the for objective destruction. Oh, that's yeah. what I was saying. That's and what I was saying. What it's were you for. saying about bombers then? Oh, that's what I meant. The Y wings are bombers. Oh no, my bad. A wing then. Okay, listen. It's fine. Bom bomber against other people because bomber has lock on missiles, but it's it has lock on missiles and repair. But its other thing is an ion blast that does small damage but slows enemy ships down. Okay, so you're saying that's whereas, actually preferable for the other one. Whereas the other one that you would think is against other ships, it has a lock on missile and repair, but its ability gives its primary gun more damage. So you would be taken out, like you'd be doing more damage towards the vehicles. Or not the vehicles, the uh, objectives. But I haven't, you know, extensively test, tested it all. Oh, I actually got credit for that. Hey. I, can't, I, thought, I thought for sure that was gonna be an assist kill. What's the um? Uh, I was gonna I was gonna say um. Uh, one thing that's kind of I hope that they do in this game um is just letting you play on whatever map you like. I mean, like I guess this is gonna be people will complain that it's it's specifically an imperial shipyard or whatever. But like in the original game, in the original Battlefront, there were a handful of maps you could only play in certain eras. Like you couldn't do Hoth as the clones and droids and whatever. Uh -huh. And that's that's another thing where I'm just like, who cares? Let me fight wherever as whatever characters. Right. Man, okay, I'm really, really got to get used to this. But then again, there's not okay, much of Okay, got it. Okay, so let's see. So, le so left stick, uh, left is, stick is... is throttle, and if you turn it to the left, that's your... Yes. That's your right that's stick your, is movement. Is it pitch or yaw? I forget what those individual that's, words It's mean. one of them. Right stick is, is movement, and left stick is just to rotate your ship. I got it now. Which really does, in this game mode, you really don't need to that much, except for just... I guess, like, situating yourself. For, it's, for, it's from a simulation purposes, to feel like it's super realistic. It's the, the, the legitimate Star Wars experience. Yeah. In, in the settings, you can actually change some of the stuff. And, I, like, I think it's on, like... I, I think it's on this game's equivalent of baby controls right now, but I don't know how to change it. <clears throat> okay. I'll mess with it later. It's this game's equivalent of baby controls. Why is that one highlighted in orange like that? Uh, Maybe because I did damage to it in my previous life? But that doesn't Maybe. make sense. No, I think I think the biggest uh, version of baby mode in any game ever is probably near Automata's baby mode. Yeah. Because Why is that baby in mode? easy mode, like in that game, you can like equip chips and they augment you. Oh yeah, I'm familiar. And then there's there's uh, in easy mode, you can equip chips that are like automatically attack, automatically dodge, automatically fire at locked on enemies, stuff like that. So you can literally just lock onto an enemy and the game wins. Interesting. That's uh, that sure is something. I haven't tried it personally though. Couldn't couldn't bring myself to do it. Do I have chaff or anything like that? Okay, looks like I lost it anyway, so it doesn't matter. No, the only one that's got anything like that are the Imperials, I think. Like another Whoa, okay. Whoa. Uh, that came up faster than I was expecting it to. Another bomber has it. Okay. I have not tried any of the hero like planes in this. Mm-hmm. What's the uh what are my abilities here? Your, okay. I understood the other like I understood at a glance what the A wings okay. were. Okay. Your L one is repair. Okay. okay. Your R one is lock on missiles, really. and your both is like your your main guns do more damage. Like okay. you shoot all four at once for a limited gotcha. time. Gotcha. Okay. That makes sense. Because from this from this distance, can I use that lock on missile? I think so. Just press the button, and it'll. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Once it locks on, you have Whoa, to press okay. it again. I think I just lost my lock. Problem. Okay. Oh. I was hitting the wrong stick to pull up. I was I was I was pulling back on the left stick and I was slowing down and taking more shots from that turret that I was trying to avoid. Yeah, I, I notice in this maybe it's because I haven't played a lot of it, but I end up like when I get into hectic situations, I end up really messing up movement. Boy, this thing is this drives like your mom's minivan. Definitely see why the A-Wing is, like, it's, it's, the A-Wing is significantly more maneuverable. I can feel it. I have, like, I've spent, you know, all 12 seconds of each of these ships, and yeah. I can really feel it. Well, it's the small, fast one. I just don't know how much damage it does compared to Bush. Yeah. I'd love to, whoever's talking to me right now, but I'm busy. Yeah. I clipped my wing on the side. Defeated. Alrighty. So, this situation right here, we're seeing kind of how they handle squads in this game. Not a lot of people are fans of it, and I can't say I am either. Like, it's not the worst thing in the world, but, like, you said you haven't played much battle. battle yeah, so I, I understand that when you spawn in with that, you have, like, four people who are kind of assigned to your squad, so to speak, that you spawn in alongside. Yeah. That are, like, kind of... Ooh. Okay. 
but yeah, okay, like in the way it works in Battlefield games, I don't, I'm not saying it should work like that in this game because this isn't Battlefield, obviously. It's Battlefront. Mm -hmm. Big difference. A huge difference uh, that I constantly flub. <laughs> constantly but, flub. No, we all do. <laughs> but anyway, the way it works in that game is you have, you know, four or five people in your squad and you can spawn in on them when you die, like if they're not in the Right, fire, right, yeah, and I remember. Uh -huh. But it also. It it, spawns. But it, like, taking that apart. Like, it really is the way, like, you're, you know, big maps with a lot of people, but you're playing with your friends or whatever. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really do that in this game. In matchmaking, um, even if you go in with your friends, it will make it where whenever you die, you either have to wait 10 seconds after selecting your character, or if another, if enough people have died and they select their characters, you'll, and there's four of you, you'll spawn in instantly once there are four people filled up. Uh, maybe, but, maybe outside of the beta. Well, maybe in the full version, they'll uh, kind of have it be more effective. Okay, that was maybe. interesting. I just got thrown into a wall. Yeah. D defeat. Didn't matter anyway. That sure, I sure did a good job at that. <laughs> it's all good, don't worry. I've, I've seen worse so far. Um, but yeah, in this one, it's just you die and it does that. If you are playing with friends, you can see them on like a green outline on your map, and you can see it as green on your mini-map. Okay. But it doesn't feel as personable as it does in a battlefield. Well, it doesn't. It doesn't feel as functional because the whole idea is that with those massive battles with tons of players, you can just you can stick with exactly the people you want to play with. So, and the thing is, it doesn't. You spawn in with these, you know, few people, and it's like stay in your squad, and you'll you know get points more effective. But nobody wants to because once you spawn in, there's four of you, and you're all off doing your own thing. Well, the game isn't designed for that, really. Exactly. I mean, like other than other than like it's, you know, if you're playing with friends and you got an officer and people playing as different classes and you're communicating and working as a unit then you can do stuff but when it's everybody in open chat and you're not really in a consistent squad then it doesn't matter right and i mean i, I can understand for balancing purposes why they're doing that but also when it's me and two of my friends playing i spawn i die i spawn in as an officer and i just run towards the nearest green like on there so i'm functionally doing the exact same thing i'd be doing in battlefield but it's just, I have to actually physically go up to him now.